Hello everyone and welcome to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today I want to tell you about a very nice TV show from the 1960s. Why is this TV show so special? Well, the first reason is because it's just a nice TV show. <laughs> the second reason is because the English in it is very much the Queen's English. It's very nice to understand, very nice to watch. It's just generally an all-round nice TV show. Very popular, still shown today. And I think one of the actors from this show is still alive. So, let me explain. The show is called The Champions. The Champions. It's very famous across the world. I think in Spain it was called Eloes de Nemesis. There was an Italian version as well, which I don't remember the name of, I think. But maybe we'll come to that in a moment. And it was also very famous in America. So, The Champions is a British espionage thriller, science fiction, occult detective fiction adventure television series. Ooh, a lot of words there. I wouldn't like to try to say all of those when I'm drunk. British espionage thriller science fiction occult detective fiction adventure television series. It was produced by ITC Entertainment. That's the company that gave us oh many many things. Uh, the Saint, Space 1999, um, Man in a Suitcase, Return of the Saints. It's actually a very nice brand, and all of their TV shows have very, very nice English. Uh, the Champions consisted of 30 episodes broadcast in the UK on ITV during 1968 to 1969. So they're always wearing suits, you know, they're, they're kind of like uh, James Bond style people. The series was broadcast in the US on NBC in the summer of 1968. So let me tell you what happens in this TV show. Well, there's three agents, Craig Sterling, Sharon McCready and Richard Barrett. Craig Sterling is played by the actor Stuart Damon. Sharon McCready is Alexander Bestido and Richard Barrett is William Gaunt. Sadly, William Gaunt is the only one who still survives. The other two have passed away. Alexandra Bastido was a very famous actress here, very beautiful. She was famous all across Europe because she spoke many different languages. Um, she was known in Spain as Le Bastido because she was so beautiful, apparently. Well, um, Craig Sterling, the American guy, was uh, Stuart Damon. He was very famous in the States right up until his death, which I think only happened recently. Very nice actor. They're all very photogenic people. Um, you can still see their pictures popping up from the champions. In fact, Alexander Bastido, one of her photos from the champions, appeared on the cover of one of the albums for the Smiths in the last few years. Anyway, in the first episode, the pilot episode, the team is escaping by air from a spying mission in China. I don't recommend you watch the first episode first because it doesn't reflect the rest of the series. But anyway, it's a nice episode. So they're stolen plane, damaged by gunfire during the getaway, crashes in the Himalayas, and they're rescued by an advanced civilization living secretly in the mountains of Tibet. Uh, this secret tribe saves their lives and gives them special powers, uh, extrasensory powers to communicate with each other, uh, telepathy, uh, to foresee events, to see what's going to happen, um, enhanced versions of their ordinary five senses, 
and intellectual and physical abilities reaching the fullest extent of human capabilities. Many stories feature unusual villains who perhaps were enemies of Britain at the time. Uh, many stories relate to fascist regimes from unspecified South American countries. Um, Nazis, this was a common theme of ITC and I think all television during the 1960s and 70s because the audience, of course, had remembered the war. Um, uh, or the Chinese, of course. Um, the villains' schemes, you know, the bad person's schemes, often threaten world peace. And uh, Nemesis is the agency these detectives work for, is international. So uh, these, these uh, characters travel all over the world, which is quite funny considering <laughs> to make this show, they never actually left the TV studio, apparently, or very rarely left it. I think at least there's, there's one episode I remember where they're in an old castle, in an old castle, very close to the TV studio. So the main characters have to learn how to use their new powers as they go along, keeping what they discover secrets from their friends and the enemies. Every episode begins with a close-up map showing the region where the story is about to take place. Uh, it's very nice. I really recommend this TV show. It's lovely. And usually it shows some little clip of how these characters use their special abilities in their free time. So, for example, in one of them, you can see the character called Sterling, Craig Sterling, in a shooting contest. And another, Sharon McCready's car is blocked in and uh, she literally pulls it out of the car park with one hand. Of course, it's a bit unbelievable, but if you like superheroes, you're going to love this. It's very nice. Um, and then there's a narration, a very powerful voice telling you about the champions of law, order and justice. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very good. Um, the only other person in the series is the boss, Tremaine, and he doesn't know that they have special powers. Although he's very suspicious of them because he can see in their reports that some things happen which are inexplicable. The Champions was created by Dennis Spooner and its episodes were written by individuals who had worked on other British spy series like The Avengers, another one with very nice English, uh, and Danger Man. By the way, The Avengers is nothing to do with the modern uh, TV movies or Marvel. The Avengers was a much older TV show with a man in a suit and a hat and a woman in a leather suit. It was a little bit strange, but anyway. Um, yes, so it was created by Dennis Spooner, produced by Monty Berman, has a wonderful theme tune written by Tony Hatch. And uh, if you like this kind of thing, please also look out for Department S, Jason King, Randall and Hopkirk Deceased and The Adventurer because, again, the English in these shows uh, really is amazing. Um, yeah, so because of budget constraints, many sets were reused. Three episodes were set on a submarine and three in the Arctic, but they didn't actually get to go there, of course. They used stock footage stock footage stock footage is another way of just saying scenes from other tv shows which they already had and as with other itc productions much of the exterior action took place in and around the studio um which was the abc uh, associated british was it abc no, I think it was Associated British Studios, ABS, in Elstree. 
um, for at least one episode, which was called Desert Journey, foreign filming did take place, but with a second unit and extras standing in for the main cast, so they didn't actually get to go anywhere. An extra is someone who pretends to be the character but isn't for stunts and these things. Yes, but the Tony Hatch music's lovely. You can find all of it on YouTube if you type in the Champions uh, British TV series. It's very widely publicised. There's also tribute groups and Facebook to it. And uh, you'll probably see obituaries to Alexandra Bastido. And she also presented Miss World here. She was one of these women that could speak three or four languages. But to be honest... In the old days, up until the 1990s, to work on TV, you had to be able to do something. You couldn't just be an actor or an actress. You had to have a skill, and that made you look a little bit more exotic or usable. Because these things were hard to find in the old days. And in those days, France and other countries were very far away. So these days, of course, everything is very close together. We're all connected by the internet. But uh, yeah, before the 1980s or 1990s, if you could speak French, it was considered to be a very desirable skill. It showed that you were educated, for example. And you could be used by the government, of course, especially during the war. Uh, if you could speak a second language, it was a very useful skill to translate documents. Anyway, uh, please do try and find it. Uh, it's a wonderful TV show. It's always showing in our TV and the English is beautiful. So enjoy. See you. Bye bye.